Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. In this video, I'm going to show you the second part of the other video that I made, which is racking all of the brand new amps that I got from Crix, which are the Electra Theater HD2. I have three five channel amps, and I'm going to set up all of my speakers in my home theater to run through those now and convert my Denon over to preamp mode. I also have a little bit of work to do mounting my new AC Infinity fan so that I can do all of the heat extraction in the closet because now that I'm going to have a lot more gear in there, it's going to start getting a little hot. And even though I have an air conduct, I feel that maybe I still need to do a little bit more with the heat extraction. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video as I go through installing these brand new amps into my rack. And if you can't tell, I'm excited. Stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, I've got a fair amount of work to do in this rack. I've got a whole bunch of Lego and other things up there, as well as I've got all of my IT equipment and gear, and I've got these two racks. So basically, the excitement's kind of wearing off a little bit because now I've got to uh, take all of that stuff out so that I can see what I'm working with. Um, <laughs> I'm here with my son, he's gonna help me. Uh, we're gonna dismantle everything in the rack. You can see we've already taken out some of the stuff at the top because we've basically got to cut the hole for the AC Infinity fans. So I'm going to get into that now. So guys, we're now back to a clean alcove. Excuse the squeakiness of the camera tripod. I really need to get a new camera tripod ball head. It's not so creaky. But you can see I've got the cavity all ready to go and I've freed the space and up the top there that's where we're going to put the AC infinity fans so they can suck out all the hot air so I've got to work out exactly where I'm going to put the unit so I'm thinking I'm going to put the AC infinity unit somewhere here here um, so that I can control it and there's there's a cavity there as well. So probably not this side, probably on this side because there's a cavity right there which will run all the way to the top. So I'll probably put it underneath there somewhere and that should be good. Hey guys, things didn't quite go to plan. Unfortunately, the whole in the top where I feed the cables is jam packed with all of my speaker cables. Um, when the electricians initially framed the house, they didn't cut a hole big enough. So short, short story long, I'm gonna have to park connecting them up until I can work out how I'm gonna get the USB cable up to those fans. So what we're gonna do is move on to putting the IT rack together with all the gear so the household can get internet again. So I'll just quickly show you us putting that together. So guys, I am tired. It's been an epic day of dismantling everything. I've only managed to get the um, IT rack done because everyone needed internet apparently, they couldn't live without it. So I think I'm gonna call it a night and I'm gonna start on the other rack tomorrow. So guys, we're on day two of the rack rebuild. And as you can see, I'm just installing the shelves. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'm actually gonna put the power conditioner in the bottom, then I'm going to work my way up. The reason being, I want to keep the amps as low to the ground as possible. That's for um, safety as well as um, my speaker cables are not very long and I need them to be able to reach the wall ports. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So I'm not gonna bore you with all of the um, installation, but just thought I'd explain it. Oh. So guys, I've managed to get my cable for the AC Infinity fans um, hooked up. There was a lot of trouble trying to get the cable down through the, um, the floor because there's a yellow tongue timber. But anyway, I got it in, finally managed to get it through. 
and um, I've just got to drill the holes for the raw plugs and get them up. So I'm not sure how much you'll see with my big fat head blocking it, but I'm going to give it a go. So I actually got it done, guys. Um, I forgot to hit the record button, <laughs> but it's um, all screwed up there and um, in place. So yeah, that job is done, finally. Hey, we've got action, there we go. And the fans are on and spinning up there as well. So we have a working AC Infinity air extraction. So guys, I have all my cables ready, pretty much so that I can go and start racking. I'm gonna do the power first, get all the power nice and tucked away and away from any data. And then I'm gonna start on the speaker cables, the 12 volt trigger, the RCA cables for the amps, as well as the HDMI cables. So I'll do that all in time-lapse for you guys. Now we have done all of the power for the rack and you'll see it's all cable tied and pushed down to the side and it's dropped nice and loose so that it can be accessed again if need be. So we'll do a quick pan so you can see. And basically, basically there's just one cable coming out from the power conditioner which goes into the UPS, which is out of view at the moment. But basically that, that power cable goes into the UPS and it's um, every, all the power is contained on the rack. So everything is self-contained. If I need to pull the rack out, I don't have to worry about a bunch of cables going out the back. So there we go. I've got all of the Cat6 cables in and I'll undo these when I'm ready to place the rack um, up against the wall so that I can join them all up together and snake them through to the other side of the rack. These RCA cables are going to be for the amps and all of the speakers. So I'm gonna get cracking onto that now and then do the cable management at the end. So guys, now that I've pretty much finished wiring up all the important parts, I've got these here, which are the 12 volt triggers. And basically the amps will um, allow a daisy chain of the 12 volt triggers into the receiver. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna test it. So the cabling is now done and I've got plenty of room to be able to turn the rack around. Um, I just have to connect up the Cat6 cables and the job is done. So guys, let's test out the 12 volt trigger and make sure everything works.
Beautiful, there we go. The amps all turned on and it looks like everything's working. So the rack is finally completed. Everything is working really well. What I need to do next is to turn the Denon to preamp mode because then only the amps will be powering the speakers and I will need to recalibrate. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to make another video where I show how I configure the Denon over to preamp mode, run a recalibration and do some tests. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, make sure you smash the like button for me and consider subscribing so that you can see my future videos. I'd also like to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I just hit 25,000 subscribers. It's not a huge number, but I'm really happy that I was able to get this far. I never really expected it, having only done YouTube for two years. I didn't even think I would get to a thousand. So to all the people that have been following my work on YouTube over the last couple of years, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.